Welcome to the top 10 weirdest place names in Yorkshire. Handpicked by, well, me, because it's my video. All of the places mentioned in this video do actually exist within Yorkshire, and they can be googled if you think I'm an absolute liar. It's worth mentioning as well that there are plenty more that didn't make this first video. Okay, let's get going with our list. So in at the number 10 spot is the Land of Nod. Located in East Yorkshire, it's nothing more than a sleepy hamlet. Snuggled between Market Wheaton and Howden, and not far from the Black Clump, another weird name. It's believed to have gained its name from the Bible, and a passage taken from Genesis that reads, So Cain went out from the Lord's presence, and lived in the land of Nod, northeast of Eden. So that would put Eden down as Ghoul. Hmm, you might want to rethink that one. But it does mean that Eden is in Yorkshire. Amen to that, brother. At number nine, we have a North Yorkshire hamlet that sounds like a cross between something rude and a Yorkshire way of saying a Class A drug. Cocaine. Located in the civil parish of Bransdale in the North Yorkshire Moors National Park, Cocaine is the head of Bransdale, a southward facing valley cut into the moors, just below a hill called Cocaine Head. Oh my god, it gets worse. The hamlet is entirely owned by the National Trust. Now, I'd love to see them explain that to their accounts department. We bought cocaine! At number 8, we have Hoo Ho, another small hamlet, this time in West Yorkshire and near Hebden Bridge, which apparently means a hollow by the spur of a hill, according to a local historian anyway. Imagine trying to sell your house in Hoo Ho. At number seven on our list is Sex How. No, that's not a question. It's actually located in North Yorkshire and far enough away from Middlesbrough that they don't need to mention it. It's believed to derive its name from the Old Norse language which means Hill of Sek. Sek being a personal name. He was probably some Viking dude. It has a population of 20 people who are probably all related to said Viking dude and even boasts its own music festival known as the Corn Shed that's run since 1986. It did used to have its own railway station called imaginatively Sex Howe Station. It closed to passenger services in 1954. There's even talk of a legendary dragon that used to plague the village folk. And it was called the Worm of Sex How. <sighs> it gets worse. It's probably called Shelley that runs the local yoga club these days. Anyway, enough of the filth. Let's get to our next place. At number six is Penis Stone. <sighs> okay. This one is actually pronounced Penistone, if you're a local anyway. But I have heard people from outside God's County call it the former. I won't be making any rude jokes about this name. It's too hard. Standing to attention at the foothills to the Pennines in West Yorkshire, and not far from Barnsley, it has a population of 23,000 people, referred to as penises. This market town has plenty to see, including a former railway station, a brilliant cattle market, and a rather large viaduct over the River Don. The name is believed to mean the farmstead at the hill called Penning, in reference to the high ridge immediately south of the town, with the word pen meaning head. Right, moving on. The next place is twinned with a hypermarket in Calais, and named after a favourite tipple for many. Booze, in the Richmondshire district of North Yorkshire, is home to 11 households, a riding school, and surprisingly, not a boozer in sight. The name is derived from the Old English language, and not after a crate of Stella. Other brands are available. It means house by the curve. The curve is probably in reference to the curved hill in which the hamlet sits upon. The original community was formed upon local slate and lead mines, and at its peak, 
would have contained over 41 households in 1851. Tragedy struck during the 18th century when 18 residents of Boos died when miners blasted into an underground lake. Speaking of weird names in Richmondshire, our fourth entry is less than a few miles away and makes you wonder if they were on the booze when naming these places. At number four, we have Crackpot. Now Crackpot is a village high up in the Yorkshire Dales, again near Richmond. The name is made up of a combination between the Old English cracker, which means crow, and an ancient Viking word pot, which means a cavity or a hole in the rock. It also features a cave called imaginatively Crackpot Cave, which is accessible through the aptly named Knee Wrecker Passage. Our entry at number three is Fryup, another little hamlet in North Yorkshire Moors National Park. Fryup is separated into two small valleys or dales. Little Fryup, which is one sausage, one bacon and one egg, and Great Fryup, which is like an Olympic breakfast from the little chef. The majority of households are in Great Fry Up Dale, which is what you would say on your way out of the cafe. You think I'm making this up, I'm really not. The hamlet is made up of nine farms or cottages. It has no shops, pubs or even cafes that Dale owns. But it does have a village hall, outdoor centre, a cricket pitch, a playground and a little chef. Okay, I made up the bit about the playground. It gets its name from the ancient English first name Friga and Up or Hop which means small valley and unfortunately has nothing to do with a greasy morning food tradition. At number two we have Helwith. Named after a local Karen once told the manager of a local butcher's to hell with you. It's another entry near our wackiest of towns Richmond in North Yorkshire. Nestled close to booze and crackpot, it sounds like somewhere you would be sent after visiting the other two. It's made up of nothing more than a hamlet and farm, situated in the valley of Mask Beck, a tributary to the River Swale, and formed again around the area known for historical lead mining. And finally, in our number one spot, yes, it's Wetwang! probably the most famous one on our list and the one that most people in Yorkshire will have heard of and probably visited thanks to the well-known fish and chip shop on the way back from Brid. Located on the A166 between Driffield and York, it's even had its fair share of famous local mayors over the years. From the ferret-fingered countdown host Richard Whiteley to the local news weatherman Paul Hudson. Served by its own former railway station that closed in 1950 and overrun by leather clad bikers looking to munch down on its famous fish and chips. It has a church, a village pub, lake, an Iron Age chariot burial site and the famous Black Swans. It's thought to be named after a wet fart as my mum used to tell me but I'm not sure. Or it could be the old Norse word for either wet field or field for the trial of legal action. I know which is most likely. Yes, mum, I apologize for doubting you all these years. Well, I hope you enjoyed our look at some of the wackiest places in Yorkshire. Like I said, there are many, many more that I could mention. So if you enjoyed this one, let me know by clicking the like button on the video or in the comments down below and I'll make another one. Or if you would like to see one done elsewhere, then let me know down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.